What's up everyone? Today I am camping in a section of the Ozarks I typically don't go to, but we are having our false fall, what I've been heard it's called in Arkansas right now. Only last couple days, maybe a week, where it's high as like 85 in the day, depending where you're at, 77. And the low at night gets down to the 60s. So it's pretty darn nice out here. So I'm on the Sillimore Creek. So that's like Northern Arkansas, right by Mountain View. And because it's cooler up here. And so I'm gonna camp up here. I haven't been up here in quite a while. And I'm gonna try to do some trout fishing too. Well, fish for anything in general, but I wanna catch some trout. And guys, look how gorgeous this water is. This is, oh wow. It's so clear and it's so cold too. I'm excited. So I haven't made it to camp quite yet. I'm on the way to camp and I stop. I'm gonna fish here for a little bit first and see what I can catch. I just caught the largest, I think, smallmouth bass I've caught in a really long time. This is awesome. Let's see what else I can catch. Well, I have not had much action since that large smallmouth bass. Caught one little sunfish, a little smaller than my hand. That's about it. But I am getting hungry and I still have about a 30 minute drive to camp in the National Forest. So I think I'm gonna start heading that way. Start making my way back to the truck and so we'll see you at camp.
I've made it to camp and I have camp all set up. I have to keep the tent door closed because there are gnats. I've gotten bitten once on the neck, but that's it. My spray seems to be working somewhat. It's hot. <laughs> Maybe because I've been moving, setting stuff up, but it feels warm right here. It is definitely cooler. It's definitely in the 70s, but I guess because I've been moving, it's warm. Gotten spoiled with the out west weather from New Mexico, I will say. But this is the coolest temperatures that I've experienced uh, in Arkansas since being back from New Mexico. So this is nice. But I'm not camping at the wreck area that I drove through where the creek and all that is. I didn't really care for those campsites. I know there was no one there. It was quiet and I'd have it all to myself. But I really didn't care for those campsites. None of them were like right on the water. I don't know. I didn't really care for them. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little campsite. It's right off the road. So there's the road. It's like a big switchback or a big curve. And you got the tent right here. And on both sides, it's like a gully. It's like a little valley right there. The one right there. And then behind the tent. But you got a fire ring with some trash in it here. So we'll have to pick that up. And I think there's a can right up there too. The trash always seems to find its way out in the nature. It's a shame. But it's pretty cool. You can hear the water from the creek down there. Just thought I'd give it a try. I've never camped here before. So this is all new. It's new for me and new for y'all. So it's all new for us. But in the meantime, till the sun starts going, getting a little bit lower in the sky, then I'm gonna go down to the wreck area and swim around a little bit. I'm geeking out, guys. Look at this. That's sand, that's like white sand. I didn't realize that was here. And all this rock is white. I mean, Look at that. That's crazy. But like, no, no, that's white. Maybe it is actually white. That's just like stuff growing on it. I don't know. But this is so gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, and the water's cold. A lot colder than the uh, other creek I was on, which is actually this creek. I was just further down on it. It's uh, like really cold here. Look at this like vegetation growing on this. This is so pretty. Wow. This is awesome. And of course I brought my fishing pole. You know, we got a fish everywhere I go, in the creek I go to. But hey, you never know what you might catch. I don't think there's trout up this far, but I've been surprised before. I was standing out here in the middle of this little creek, right here. Nice little spot. And I was looking at this ridge, right there. And I got to noticing like something blue. Well, that's my tent. So my campsite's just right up there. Right up there. I know y'all can't see it from the camera, but I can see just like a little sliver blue and it's the only thing up there because there's only one road and i drove i mean that's it that's the road right there in the campsite so that's pretty cool and it is 76 degrees that's what my truck showed driving down that little ridge right there to here and look at the springs look at that all of those streaks are is like just little water trickling out you see it right there there is like water dripping off that from all these streaks. Super cool. 
This is a really neat place, really neat. It's a shame there's not any campsites right on the water. There is one, it's on this little trail I walked in on, but it's for backpackers because there is a trail, a backpacking trail called the Sillimore Trail. I do like my campsite though. And I am excited to go back there and enjoy it for the rest of the evening, cook dinner, make a little fire, hang out for a little bit. Tonight for dinner, I will be cooking chorizo and cheese quesadillas. So first, let's get the chorizo started. The chorizo is done, so now I'm gonna get the tortillas out and then start shredding some cheese. I do have one slice of pepper jack cheese left over from the other day. So I'm gonna use that first. And then I believe this is medium cheddar cheese that I'm shredding. And now we're just gonna toast them on both sides and dinner will be ready. Good morning everyone. It got kind of cool last night. I mean I was covered up in that you know, big comforter and I was fine. So typically in August I don't do that. It's normally just like a sheet. But it was nice. It was very nice and it got really foggy like so foggy like you couldn't see any of those trees at all. It was pretty cool, it was neat. And it sounded like it was raining almost because the fog was so thick and the moisture was dripping off the trees. It was pretty neat. And I was very glad it got as cold as it did. I would say it probably got low 60s. It actually got cold enough right before I got into the tent I could see my breath, like the carbon monoxide coming out. It wasn't a whole lot, but you could just barely see it. I don't know if it was the moisture in the air and the coolness or what, but you could see it. I've got breakfast made. I've done something pretty easy again. Um, of course, breakfast is always kind of easy, unless you're doing like biscuits or pastries or something. It takes a little bit longer. But I did chorizo egg, and I have waffles with syrup. I'm big. I like the uh, like the spicy and the saltiness, and then like sweet like syrup. I like those combo. I don't know why I do, but I've always liked that combo. So that's kind of what I did this morning. So I'm gonna enjoy this and hang out with that camp for a little bit. And if you're all enjoying this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it and subscribe. I'm now at the Gunner Pool Recreation Area and this is Gunner Pool. Very pretty, very pretty. I guess I didn't realize this was a dam right here. I mean, the dam's just right over there. Let's go check that out. 
I never knew like it was a like dammed up little area. I thought it was just like a natural pool that the creek made. It's pretty though. This water's clear and blue. Well, it's very pretty. I had no idea this was here. So this is a fee area. So it's all controlled by the Forest Service. You do have to pay a day use fee if you're gonna recreate during the day, or if you're gonna camp overnight, there is a camping fee. I don't know the prices, but I know this is a fee area. I saw multiple signs about that. And the gnats are bad today. They were bad yesterday, but they are really bad today. And I think today's the last day of the nice weather because it's getting hot. It's already 86. It's not even to the peak of the day yet. So I feel like that false fall is coming to an end already. Very short lived. So this is the Sillimore Creek below that little dam, still in the Gunner Pool Recreation Area. Look how beautiful this is. You can see the line right here. So that right there, that's the Everton Formation, and above that, that's the St. Peterson Sandstone. It's very neat. Now you know me, I love geology and rocks, so this is really cool. It is a shame though there's graffiti on that. That, is, that sucks, it's not cool. Let's see what else this wreck area has to offer. I'm impressed, this is pretty. That's pretty cool. So this is a CCC park as well. Pretty neat, never knew that. It's a pretty cool little area here. And I did look at the fees for day use and camping. Day use is $3 per vehicle. Camping is $10 per vehicle. Let's see what else we can get into. I think I may go to Blanchard Springs. I think it's just right down the road. We're gonna hike to the spring and do a little bit of fly fishing so we can catch. So the temperature is actually a lot cooler down here and I think it's because the water coming out of the spring is so cold. Glacier Springs. This is so cool. I'm geeking out right now. Look at that. It's like an AC coming at me. This is 
so cool. And the water is ice cold. It is so cold. So this flows into the North Sillimore Creek that I was camping on and that I swam in yesterday. And I was wrong about trout fishing. I've heard that trout have swam all the way up to here, but I, I didn't realize how short of a walk this actually was. But it's below, it's a little further down. There's a lake called Mirror Lake that this flows into. And that is below there. That's where they stock the trout. So let's head there and let's do some trout fishing. So this used to be an old mill called Mitchell Mill. Two-story mill built of oak and walnut. Pretty darn cool. Let's go look at, let's go check out the lake. All right, guys, kind of geeking out right now. I'm excited because I caught a rainbow trout and this lake is full of them. So I got my other fishing rod and I got a cooler, well ice chest, because you can keep five. So I don't think I'm leaving until I catch five of them. So let's see what all we can catch. So I just caught a pretty big trout, and as I was grilling it in, an otter came out of this grass right here and ate it, bit my line, took it all with it. I've never had that happen before. Wow, I'm running out of flies. I keep catching big trout, but my line keeps breaking, so I don't have big enough line for these trout on my fly rod. And then what I'm using on my spin cast, it's too big. So I've got to find a sweet spot here. All right, guys, caught about four or five trout. I was only able to keep two of them because I didn't break my line or anything. Look at these beauties. Let's say we put them in some ice and you know what happens from there. Let's get some ice on these and there is a brewery pretty close by they're still open let's go check that out so y'all may be wondering why why'd you go to blanchard springs and not go to the caverns well one i wanted to wait for erica to do that with because she 
made it very clear to me, do not go to that without me. So, I'm waiting on her to do that. And two, you have to have reservations online through recreation.gov. And you have to do that like, I think two days ahead of time. So you have to plan ahead for that. It's kind of like a lot of the national park stuff. You wanna go on a hike or something, you have to make reservations. Really weird, which I get it for here, but some of the other trails, I don't really understand that. So that's why I didn't do that. But I've had an amazing day just fishing and getting to experience this place and actually take my time here. This is truly a great place. I wish I didn't sleep in so much this morning. I needed it though, I was exhausted because I, I, I didn't get out here until like, oh gosh, one o'clock probably. So, the only downfall. But besides that, we still have more planned. And if that brewery is not open, we'll do a little catch and cook. So let's go see if this brewery is open. And if it is, we'll have some good brews. So we'll see you there. That brewery was amazing. I had a great time. Stayed a little longer than I wanted to and I should have. I had a great time. Talked to a lot of locals. Met some cool people. And even today, just trout fishing and everything. Gosh, that was it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I'm going to leave it here with y'all. Y'all remember, keep it wild.